Hello, today I'm going to show you a quicker way of creating a portal frame using a macro. This helps a lot when you need to do a simple structure that doesn't subject you to a lot of modeling. This is a tool which will save you time when maybe you want to describe to a consultant or a contractor what you want to be done or seeking assistance of the two. Please welcome to this presentation. I'm your usual presenter, Maurice Dimba. Once you've opened, you, you've opened the Tecla structure, you'll be you'll follow those processes and you'll be prompted with this default grid. And immediately from that, you just go to Applications and Components here button and click that. On that, on that, uh, on that dialog box, just type Portal. Like the way I did here, a portal frame, and go to uh, portal span. This is the macro I was telling you. You can type portal span or just type S2. This micro, uh, this macro will come up. Don't waste time. Just go ahead and click on it, and you read at the bottom here of, of, of on the command line. It's is is asking actually to pick the position. What you do, just go straight and pick a position there and wait for the response. It's actually going out off the grid. What you do, you just click and do and come back here and click it right there. It will fit itself right there. Once you've done that, you double click on it. This dialog box of portal span will come up with all these settings. Now you will you will use these settings. We have picture picture which will give you the actual presentation of what you intend or the result you will have after after d doing everything. This represent the picture of it. Now we have the parameters here that will help you to set out or feed in what you require to be uh, for, for members of the whole structures now i'll come back to pictures now and i want i don't want these three columns i want maybe 13 or 13 of them but span i'll leave at six six meters this height i'll leave at the same this is, is dependent on what to require but today i'm just showing you a quicker way of creating a portal frame if you don't want to spend a lot of time doing modeling now I'll just come here and, and uh, enter the number of columns I want and just add one there and go ahead and click and click modify and wait for the result perfect we have 13 columns here but they are way out of our grid now what I'll do I'll just double click on the grid here and I'll go straight to uh, Y axis because the columns are, are, are distributed along the Y axis. Now I'll go straight to Y axis and feed 12, only 12 columns and click modify. Yes, I'll close that and close everything here and go back and check whether what I've done is right, is actually right. Now I'll right click and redraw. I'll right click and redraw. And you'll find yourself surprised be with uh, because some columns have uh, have disappeared. Reason being, do you see this box around here? If you right click, you'll see fit work area to entire model. Now the model will uh, will uh, confine itself to this box. Now if I click on this box and right click and fit this box to entire model, I'll click. And, and I'll, I'll be able to see everything now clearly displayed on the screen now if you turn this round you've done this part of frame in in just a second and maybe you wanted just to send this to a, con a consultant to advise you further having specified the height the length of the structure you want so you this is the tool for you to use 
now from here maybe you want uh, to add some more and uh, since the macro just gives up uh, just an, an outline of, of what we require if you want to move further you can double click and parameters here you can feed what you want here all, all, all of them are here and that's all about that you click apply and, and accept and another thing you can explode this model by clicking on it right click and explode have if you can explode everything now all the members will be independent you can change them independently without changing uniformly now i'll double click on that column and i'll be able to change that size by picking any of these here and apply and accept now if you go to palin you can do the same thing you can even select everything you can even select everything just click that and press control and double click on the last and we'll be able to change the size of all this if we scroll down we can give it a c profile or this telling you can change everything anything apply and accept apply and accept you see this has changed it's not similar to the previous one it's not similar to the previous one now we will we leave this uh, things as they were before by just going and undo everything now from here you can go ahead and place your clits clit placement i think i showed that in the in in other in, uh, in other videos you can go down on the channel and check a video that describes on how to place the clits and maybe if you're new to this channel and you want to know that right away from this video i'll just show you straight away and uh, just you come to applications and component here and click that and type here clit 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 not the right spelling that's not the right spelling it is not coming up we type palin 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 perfect now you can speak you can pick either of these and try to to click all those try if you, you can create a clit between the two there you are this is your clit and you're good to go you can apply this to all you can apply this to all and continue like that or in case of doing the same thing just click on that right click and click copy and uh, just pick it from this spot and come down here and fix it right there and fix it right here fix the same thing right here yes zoom closer and fix it right there is not responding but we'll check and click that that and that and press a middle button and turn this round exactly that now that's all about that macro if you want to create a model in a quicker way a, a part of frame in a quicker way just for demonstration or maybe you want exactly that size this is the way to go perfect right click and redraw to remove all those obstructions here we are We'll go straight now to create the views click on click on the grid right click and create views along the grid line we need to create the uh, the views we need a grid one bring it that size that side we close that and click on okay this is what we intended to have now you can view it from this from this end you can see your palings 
you can see your palings well distributed on top by just doing this using a macro uh, just a click away thanks a lot for watching this video um your presenter Morris Limba and next le let let us meet on the next presentation we have a lot of videos to upload keep on watching this channel and bye bye